Hey now, Mike Shimon here, and I'm just going to do a quick little product tutorial with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm dragging all my products over here. These products are already cut out. They're pings. I did not cut them out. The client provided them to me as cut out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them look a little bit better. And how they look is presentable and not like a plain image like this. So we're going to add a couple shadows and then a bottom shadow as well. All right, now that I have all my products in there, what I'll do is I'll just make a new folder. And then I will just put this uh, product in this folder and then I'll put all the other products that I have remaining into another folder and turn that off. I've uh, just made a black uh, or a white background and I put that on. And what I'm gonna do right now is just, since all the products are cut out, I can just go to the product layer and then use the magic wand tool and select the product almost. But if I go Control Shift I and I select the inverse, it'll just select the, the product. So I'm just going to make a new layer. I'm just going to go to my brush. And what I'm going to do is it's a black brush, new layer. And I'm just going to kind of just go around the edges here and all the way down, holding shift. All right, and then come back up and then hold shift. And then just do this just a little bit, not too much. You don't want it to be too black. All right. At the same time, you do want it to be enough to where you can tell that the body has the bottle has some dimension to it. And I'm just gonna go control D. And you can also just make a mask if you wanted. You could just um if you wanted to do that, you could just add a new layer and then just go to create clipping mask. So now it'll only do that on this layer. So that's how you do it the easy way is you just create a clipping mask and then you just do that. All right, and you just go back. And then what you can do is to make a shadow on the bottom. You want the bottle to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to um, add a little drop shadow to it first. And it's gonna be at a 90 degree angle, just like that. And you wanna mess around the sizing a little bit. You want it to be overly fuzzy, but you don't want it to be overly You want to be able to see the background shadow, but you don't want to be able to I think it's over, overdone, overkill. Okay, so just mess around with it. And then I just go, okay. And then what I'll do is I'll go make a new layer. And this one, just make a new layer. Actually, I'll trash that layer. Since I, that was just an example there, I wanted to show you guys a hard way and the easy way. Um, make a new layer. And then what I'll do is I'll just go to my brush and you wanna make sure it's on a softer brush. Okay. And then, usually what I do is I do a bigger brush like that. Now I'll just go Control T and bring it down and I'll add it to the bottom here. Now I'm gonna show you another way to, to do this as well. I usually do it with the black like this and then in opacity. I just kind of mark it down a little bit. You can also bring it in if you want like that. All right, so you just play around with that. And then you have your shadow right there at the bottom. All right, and then you can play around like if you just wanna get this kind of right. Now there's there is also another way to do that. You could also make a circle. Oops. You could also make a circle. All right, and then if you just go to filter and blur, Gaussian blur, you just go yes, okay, and then you can do this to what you like and press okay. 
And then you do the same thing and you just bring it down. see the difference. Actually this one. But you can see the difference there. Alright and again you're on to play but just a little bit to get where you want. But I like doing it as the um, the first technique we used here. Alright so let's go on, move on and one more news will take us down just a little bit on the shadows there. So I'm, I'm just gonna use the opacity just a little bit down there. And if you need to use levels, you can also use your levels and curves and exposures. All right. And then if you wanted to, you can do a burn or a dodge. And usually I just like to do that down the middle on the product layer. If it comes up like this, you can try to do a burn, dodge or burn. Just click that and rasterize it, and then you can do your dodge or burn. See, I'm doing a, a burn right or a dodge right now, and if you do the, the dodge, it'll make it a little bit lighter. All right, so that's just a quick how to do a product tutorial there, how to add it, some shadows to it, how to how to make it really pop, and you just want to play with it until you get to where you want it. You know, I'm gonna take this down just a little bit here. All right, and then you save it. Once you save it, you can just move on to your next object. All right, and then you just move it up, and then you start on that one the same way you did the other one. New layer, or actually, excuse me. Yeah, new layer, but you could, um, then you just do create clipping mask. And then press B. And it helps if you actually turn that layer off and then look at this layer. Okay, so let's just do this. All right, and then you just want to do the same thing we're doing here. You could do inner shadow, but for me, inner shadow just uh, it doesn't have the same type of effect that this does. Okay, and then you want to go to your other layer and you want to, you can actually put your, if, if all the bottles are the same type or all the products the same type and you're doing this little shadow, you can just kind of use it for each one and then just uh, position it to where you need it for each one. All right, and then come back up here and let's do the dodge. Set this down a little bit. All right, and then you can just copy your drop shot. You copy your uh, layer style there from your first one. Paste layer style. I'll bring that down just a tad bit there. And then what you're going to do is save it. And you can always apply those. All right, guys. So that's how you do a quick tutorial of how to make some nice product images there. So I hope you guys got a lot of use out of this. And uh, one other thing I want to mention too is make sure your product images are the same size, okay? So make sure your all your products are square so you can have them lined up and be all nice, okay? All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.